Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I am your host, Escalante TV. Now, many of you guys recognize the Slave One starship. If you guys have watched Star Wars Episode 2, you watched Empire Strikes Back, where the ship first appeared, and uh, you watched The Mandalorian. And, you know, it's, it's a pretty iconic ship that Boba Fett and Jango Fett fly. And it's, and, and it's shown quite often, and uh, everybody recognizes the name Slave One. And recently, LEGO announced uh, the new line of Mandalorian sets. And in that line, there's a miniature Slave One. But what's causing a, such a stir up on the internet is that the ship is no longer being referred to as uh, the official name that it's referred to in, in canon as Slave One. It's now uh, Boba Fett's Starship. Now, there's not much of a difference in the name because this is spe especially Boba Fett's Starship. This is, um, you know, what Boba Fett customizes his father's ship to, to look like. This is his own ship now. But but I feel like I, I I'm baffled to, to to what the motivations are from both sides here. Like I, I know like people are pretty stirred up because of the name change, but at the same time it's not too much of a fuss, and I'm gonna explain why. Like um, because because here's the thing, it, it's not really much of a difference because some people don't know what the slave one is called, so they're like, oh, it's Boba Fett's ship. That that's all they have in their head. But at the same time, I'm baffled to why Lego and Disney decided to, oh, let's let's change it to Boba Fett's Starship, because it doesn't really simplify it. It, it kind of just adds more of a mouthful of words to call, uh, call the, the Lego set. I'm still going to call it Slave One, because it, that's that's a way simpler way to for me to refer to the, to the set. Like, I, I know slavery has a really bad connotation in, in human history. Um, it's been seen all over the world throughout history, throughout centuries, and it's in in that concept that a uh, that concept of slavery has been pretty much been portrayed in fiction as well, and the evils of slavery have been especially so shown in Star Wars. Even the main character, Anakin Skywalker, was a slave, and he he didn't he he pretty much describes it, it was pretty much terrible being a slave, you know, being an object, being sold to other to other people as property and basically in having no free will just being forced to work being owned by someone else and um it, it's shown not just through anakin's eyes the slavery itself is is shown um in the clone war series it's it's shown in the in the bad batch it was shown it was explained to omega in the bad batch it was um even shown during the martez six sisters arc um when Ahsoka was with them in Clone Wars season seven, so Star Wars does do does a pretty good job of portraying the evils of slavery, but I don't understand why they would change Boba F the Slave One, Boba Fett's ship to just Boba Fett's ship. That that, that 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 seems very strange because now if they erased slave the word slave from the Slave One. Wouldn't that mean they would have to pretty much go ahead and redact other uh, things about slavery? I, I don't know. Like, it, it baffles me. I, I'm very confused on why why this change was made. Probably for PR, perhaps, but I can't exactly pinpoint why. Because it, it, there really wasn't anything wrong with the name Slave One um, when it when it came to the, to the ship, the Razor Crest. Um, you know, the Razor Crest has the name Razor in it. Ra a Razor could be considered a weapon. Um, we can just rename it to Din Djarin's ship. Yep, that that's a better name. Like, <laughs> people are already making memes about uh, this whole name change. Like, I think I saw uh, on Twitter, like, different sets being renamed. Like, like the X-Wing being, like, the starship that, uh, that opens and, and forms into an X and... Um, in attack position, and then BB-8, the Lego BB-8 set, like saying like Poe Dameron's droid. It, it, it pretty much ha like these these Lego set memes pretty much have like the the, the more mouthful titles and, and descriptive titles for these sets. So anyway, this pretty much looks like the change that the set's going to be having for now. Um, perhaps they'll go back to this name Slave One, noticing how people are getting stirred up over the name. 
Maybe they'll just keep it as it is. They'll just never use the name Slave One again. They'll just call it Boba Fett Starship. Or maybe if they release a, another line of the, of the of the same ship, they'll call it like Jango Fett's ship. It's been a, a while since we got like any anything like Jango Fett's ship. I think we only got one Jango Fett Slave One in in the original Lego line. So, I I think we've we've seen more of the of the Boba Fett Slave One than we actually have of the Jango Fett Slave One. Now that I think about it. But yeah, guys, um, let me know what you guys think about this change. For me, it, it doesn't really uh, affect my attitude, I guess, towards uh, towards Lego or Disney. But it, it does just confuse me more than actually make makes me mad. Um, but people are getting pretty stirred up for this change. So let me know what you guys think. Like this video if you like it. Um, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.